to a new video. This is going to be a very different style of video. Um, we're going to be going down to Powercart Raceway in Canberra and uh, we're going to be trying to see if we can set the lap record alongside one of my league racing mates named Matt. You might also know him as Plevs and uh, one of the workers there, his name is Zach. So just got to get a few things to set up the GoPro and uh, I'll see you on the track. So first time commentating on myself driving in real life, this will be really interesting. <laughs> With the current yeah. COVID situation, they actually provided us with hand sanitizer before and after every race, so it was nice for the staff to take care of that and take that in initiative. We just went out and bought a helmet, so that way we don't have to worry about other people's germs either anyway, so I needed one to mount the GoPro, so that way I could record my perspective. And uh, yeah, this is my first time recording uh, my footage of actual driving that I've done in a go-kart. Uh, of course, it's only high carts. These ones are electric. I do prefer driving in electric carts over petrol carts, but I do also prefer driving on outdoor circuits compared to indoor circuits. So there's a bit of a catch to both, but uh, heading out onto the circuit now, this is our first race of three, and uh, we get 14 laps each. And if you do in fact set a flat lap time where it's like 21.000, uh, it could be any time, but as long as it's a flat lap time, you do get a free race. So we'll be trying to attempt to go for that as well but other than that we're going to be mostly aiming to beat plebs uh our league racing friend as we can see the cart starting to speed up now uh last time i beat him by four thousandths of a second so we're really close on the virtual track in the game but we're also very closely matched in real life as we can now see we're starting to get held up by traffic somebody's just decided to stop there on the apex um so we're just going to go around the outside of them and uh, hopefully we can clear these guys in front of us as soon as possible because we want to start setting some quick lap times. Uh, unfortunately, we're not booking like a full grid. Uh, you have people of all different skill levels just trying to have some fun as that guy just spins out and gets sent to the Shadow Realm. And now that gives us a little bit of clean air, but it doesn't in fact take us too long to catch up with the car in front as it's now Plevs and ourselves getting held up by another driver. Uh, we're trying to make haste here so that way we can eventually start make it a quick lap as I try to get opportunistic there and send it down the inside of Plevs but uh, nothing going on there but now we finally get clear and it's just our league racing friend ahead of us and uh, the track to ourselves at least for a while so we need to make the most of this time as we're actually catching up to Plevs now it is only the first race and we're still both trying to get into the rhythm and using a different kite each time doesn't help either as they all handle differently but uh, as you can see we've got a good run on Plevs now and he's gotten a blue flag we're right on the back of him and he decides to break for the blue flag and try to let me through but I was already right on the back of him and I've just absolutely discombobulated him and uh, yeah, just absolutely spun him around. So I think the staff uh, believed that he was a part of the other group that was racing with this. They weren't quite as experienced with uh, the circuit and uh, that's why they tried to blue flag him as he just made a couple of mistakes and I caught up to him but I was happy to race him and uh, he actually abided by the blue flag and tried to let me through there but uh, anyways we're on to the back of number 16 now and the important thing is to not get frustrated and always hunt for that apex and open the corner up as much as possible when you're trying to get an undercut or overlap around the outside of driver but he gets a blue flag there anyways so that releases us into some clean air for a while once again but uh, there's not much you can do once you're on a flying lap and you catch up to another driver uh, you just gotta try to enjoy it and try to, you know, give yourself a challenge of trying to overtake them. I wasn't treating this first race too seriously anyway as we smacked the wall, getting a bit of understeer and uh, I think we hit the apex wall there too. Uh, just experimenting with braking zones and racing lines is what I was trying to do mostly in this first race to get used to the kart and the circuit once again after not being at the circuit for a while now. The checker flag is waving and we do actually come away with the first win of the day uh, ahead of plebs i think by a couple of tenths of a second so we do have the advantage at the moment and uh, we'll have to try and carry that advantage in the next two races if we want to carry those bragging rights uh, for online racing as well uh, this is me just checking that big billboard over there and as you can see I'm a little bit happy to beat Plebs in that first one puts the pressure more on him for the next two races to try and improve upon that lap time. Sorry about that. 
do that last lap when I can look at the head jar. I was on the, I caught you up so much. And then my, my power cut out coming around the corner. Oh, Okay, we're going again. Did you, I don't know, we might be in the next one then. So analyzing the lap time data, we didn't get much of a break this time as it wasn't too crowded, which is a good thing for us. Yeah, it's the tricky part. Some have oversteered, some have understeered, the brakes are different, throttle's different. And that's just Matt and I discussing how different each cart is to each other and how you have to get used to the new cart when you enter in a new race. And that's just gonna be the case with every high cut um, place that you can go to. And it's just one of the challenges you have to overcome. Putting the visor down now, ready to head out on the track for race two. Giving my legs a good old stretch before jumping on the pedals. And uh, we're ready to get kick started for this second race of the day. As you can see straight away when I go to warm up the cart here, uh, the wheel rotation, like the the weight of the steering wheel is way lighter, which felt weird because this car was also a lot more understeering to begin with, like as I was getting first used to it. So I, I knew straight away this was going to be a challenge already um, to try and set a lap time anywhere near as quick. Um, on the plus side, we only did have one other driver on the circuit apart from ourselves, so there's going to be a whole lot less traffic and um, more clean air to get into the rhythm. But if you don't have the car underneath you and you just can't get into that rhythm to begin with, uh, it's going to be incredibly difficult to set that quick lap time. And as you see, I just ride the ball like a skater there. Um, absolutely understeer. <laughs> and uh, that's just that's just the challenge that comes with karting. You just got to tra travel a bit slower through the corners, hit the braking zones a bit harder before you enter in the corner if you've got an understeer car. As this driver now has a blue flag. I'm not sure if he saw the blue flag or not, but I. Still made it a little bit difficult to go over to, um, to overtake there, so we worked for it anyways. But a bit of clean air now, so we've got the track mostly to ourselves for the rest of this race, we're trying to set a better lap time than we did in race one. Uh, I think Matt was having a similar trouble as we absolutely hook up that apex, to be honest. We rotate the car, stabbing the brakes there. It worked that one time, I was really trying to experiment with it, but most of the other times it didn't work that well, so. Um, yeah, rotation of the car, like from sliding, can be useful in some areas, but majority of the time it's going to slow you down and you try to avoid as much as possible, especially when you're understeering, you can feel the car's front tires just not turning and sliding, uh, that's when you know you need to get off the throttle. So that concludes race number two, and Plevs has actually set a quicker lap time than us, so he wins this time, but neither of us actually improved on our race one lap time, so obviously the car's having a big deal with that and that's just the case sometimes a bit of luck is needed to set a quick lap time compared to your opponents dude i hated that car too same had, we both went way slower injury. it was just sliding it, like every corner mine had like more rotation to like yeah like my, my front name was doing this because it was like through the corners yeah yeah it horrible but yeah, we didn't even go. Yeah. <laughs> By four thousandths of a second, just like last time. So yeah, even though we had a whole lot less traffic in that race, we still were not able to improve on that lap time. And uh, oh, just one having a look at the sheets now for the data, four, checking to see where we can improve. Two tenths off my time, you're way off your time. I know, my car was shit. My car was terrible. Pushing way harder. Yeah. Right. And I was like, not getting a lap. I found some like, new runs. Like, I stay in the center of the track when breaking for that corner. That's my I, st I don't go out. I tried going uh, wide one time, like that corner right there. Yeah. Um, I tried going wide one time, and then I hit like the bumps. And like, and then I just almost lost the back end. So yeah, I was like hugging, just um, like really in the middle, basically where the white stuff is. And then um, I had that hairpin over there. Um, I was experimenting, uh, braking super late, yeah. stabbing the brakes because it's a hairpin. Um, sometimes it worked, and other times it didn't. So yeah, it's just really experimental. 
Like, I was taking that line, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready for our third and final race now. They actually gave us the best cards they had, which was number five and six, which is also the first oh. cards that we got to drive, so thank yeah. you to staff there. Um, obviously, with most high car facilities, there's always going to be a difference in the carts. With these electric carts in particular, there isn't as much of a gap as there is between petrol carts, in my opinion. Uh, these carts are pretty equal compared to most other facilities that I've been to. So I do recommend checking this place out. Don't be deterred uh, by me saying that all carts are different. That is just a fact of life uh, with every karting facility there is. So yeah, from race two onwards, I was getting really experimental with the racing line so that for this final race where it was just a total duel between um, myself and players that I could make the most out of it. Uh, this first lap was really scrappy. If you do hit the accelerator and the brake at the exact same time at any margin at all, you will get a power cut and uh, it's really frustrating if you do trigger that because you lose a whole heap of time. So it does make trail braking really difficult. You either got to ease off before a corner and enter it without using the brake or stab the brakes without touching the throttle at all. And uh, that's how you're meant to drive it anyways, but uh, it just does make it slightly more tricky compared to uh, what some simulator games can let you do. And as each lap went on, I knew that Plevs was actually setting a quicker lap time than me uh, by a few thousandths of a second each time. And this was actually quicker than race one. So whoever set the quickest lap time here was going to take home the fastest lap time overall. So we needed to make the most of this clean air that we had and I knew that players was going to stick behind me to try and follow my racing line or see where I was making time and losing time. And uh, he, he sped a few laps behind me and then he realized he was slightly quicker and uh, then dropped off because he knew he would catch back up to me and lose time. So he was playing some tactics there as well. Another tip for electric carts is they reach their peak around you know, three, four laps in and then they start to lose a bit of charge. So your best chance of setting a fast lap time is early on in the session. But me and Plevs, we were setting quicker lap times later on in the session, uh, you know, lap 9, 10, 11. And uh, that just goes to show that there is a lot more potential there for us to find more lap time, but we just didn't set those consistent laps earlier on. So this is the fastest lap I set of the entire day, and we're still slightly slower than Plevs, so this lap time needs to be a bit quicker. We were missing out by like four thousandths of a second last time we saw on the board. And unfortunately, we come second. Stick it over. Holy shit! In the end, he beats us by four hundredths of a second. Did either of us set a flat time? We would have came close to it. If you ever do come down here, I do encourage you to try and beat our lap times. And let me know in the comments what you get. But did he get it? So I only just missed out on winning a new race by nine thousandths of a second. Hey guys, so we just finished up at uh, Power Car Canberra and uh, uh, Matt got the best of me and uh, he beat me by four hundredths, I think, four hundredths of a second. Um, he actually managed to get second. I think second best lap time of the week. I got third, obviously, if I was so close behind him. Um, yeah, it was a really good session. Uh, what was interesting, though, is we had such different philosophies as to where to find the time, different racing lines, and uh, we managed to almost pull the same, same lap time almost every time for that final race we had. And uh, in lap, uh, the first race, um, there was a bunch of traffic, so it was uh, a bit of fun to navigate that with um, overtaking, but it wasn't good for setting a, a decent lap time though, that's for sure. Um, after the first race, my thumbs were killing me for some reason. Um, I think I was just hot gripping the steering wheel for too too tightly, and uh, yeah, that, that really um, sent my like hands into a spasm. But uh, after uh, the second race, um, I was fine with that. Um, yeah, and for the final race, they actually put us in um, two carts that were meant to be the quickest they had. It was like cart number five and six. Um, apparently, that was like uh, one of the quickest ones. And uh, yeah, that's where um, we started setting really quick lap times. And uh, he set a uh, 27, so uh, 27 second lap time. And I I just missed out. I got um, 28 point, I think zero, 
uh, something like that. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. But anyways, yeah, it was um really close as usual. Last time I beat him by four thousandths of a second. So for him to come back and beat me by four hundredths of a second, it's no surprise. I'm always quick. Um, really similar pace on track. Um, and I remember like in that final race, I'll probably record that footage too. Um, of, up on the screen, I, I could see the delta and it was like um, four thousandths of a second difference and then it went to literally nothing, no difference. Um, and then um, he eventually increased it to like two thousandths and then four thousandths. I saw a lap by lap, he was gradually getting quicker and I, I just couldn't um, pull that time somewhere. Such little time, but I couldn't find it and um, managed to get me in the end. So um, he, he got his revenge and uh, that, that was obviously a great session of um, Karting. We had no traffic in the last race, so that was really great. It was just the two of us on track, and uh, I'll see him tomorrow at league racing and uh, streaming that too as well, so stay tuned for that, and uh, see you all in a new video.